So in this video, we're looking at a second test of similarity. In the last video, we looked at the AAA test. In this video, we're looking at the SAS test. Now, SAS stands for side angle side. So here's our definition of what that actually means. If the ratio of the lengths of two pairs of matching sides are equal, and the included angles are equal, then the two triangles are similar. Now, don't worry too much about that um, definition, although you definitely need to write it down and have a think about it, write it down. Um, the thing that I wanted to draw your attention to is this term here, included angle. Okay, so let's look at these triangles here. Here's a side A, here's a side B. Now, the angle that's between them is called the included angle. Now the side angle side test only works when you're dealing with two sides and their included angle, the angle between them. Here again, a side, another side, and the included angle. Now if I drew this triangle here, and I called this C and this D, and this was our angle here, you can see we have a side and we have another side, uh, but this angle is not the included angle. The included angle is actually right there. All right, so now that we know what an included angle is, we can start uh, doing some work on these. So let's have a try at one of these questions so we can see what they look like. Uh, here's two triangles. Oops, I'll just put something else in there. Okay, here's two triangles. Now we need to prove that those two triangles are similar and we're gonna prove that they're similar using the uh, side angle side test. I just better label this one X, um, X, Y, Z. Okay, so first of all, we need to look at the sides and determine the ratios of the sides. So I'm gonna do X, Y and A, B and see what the ratio is from X, Y to A, B. So x, y, oops, sorry, x, y over a, b equals, and x, y is 10, and a, b is 5. And we can say that x, y over a, b is equal to 2. Now, those, uh, those numbers have been given to us, so we can write given here. Now, the other one that we can look at is this length, AC, and this length, XZ. Uh, we know that those lengths are going to be the same as the, as the other lengths. So now we can say that XZ, well, let's do our working down here, XZ over AC is again equal to 10 over 5 which is equal to two. And again, that was given to us uh, by telling us those numbers. Now let's look at what our uh, SAS test is. If the ratio of the lengths of two pairs of matching sides are equal. So we can see that the ratios of these matching sides, XY to AB and XZ to AC are equal, equal, equal. They're both two. Now the only thing that we need to do now is look at the included angle. Included angle, included angle, and we can see that the included angles are equal. I'll just scroll down a little bit here. So we can see that angle CAB is equal to angle uh, ZXY, and we can see that they're equal, so we just write given. We were given that information. So now we have three bits of information. We know that those two ratios are equal. They're both two. So there's some maths you're going to have to do there. And then we also looked at the included angle and we found that they were equal. Our last step here is to say that triangle ABC is similar to triangle XYZ. And the reason for that is side angle side. Those two sides had the same ratios, 10 over 5, 10 over 5, which is 2 both times, and the angle was 30 degrees, 30 degrees. Just going to do one more so you can get a really good idea of how this works. 
Okay, so here's uh, another example that we can do. You can see you've got two triangles, the small one here, ACB, and then you've got the big one here, ECD, and we're going to prove that they're similar, again, using the side angle side method. So first of all, we need to match up our sides. So we're going to match this side with this side, and we're going to match this side, DC, with this side, CB. That'll give us... Now I'm going to do a, a ratio here, EC over um, AC is equal to, so EC is 8 and AC is 2, so that's going to be equal to 4. And then I'm going to do the same with the other matching sides, so DC over CB is equal to, now DC is 12 and CB is 3, 4. Now what we have is two sides here that have equal ratios. They're both 4. So we're doing well so far. We just need to look at the included angle now. Now if it's this side and this side, so side AC and side CB, then the included angle will be here. And similarly, if it's this side, DC, and this side, CE, then the included angle will be here. Now, you should remember some geometry from last year. We should be able to say that angle, sorry, angle ACB is equal to angle EC, oops, angle ECD. And the reason we can say that those two angles are equal is because of this. Vertically opposite. Because those angles are vertically opposite, like a pair of scissors, they're going to be equal. So finally, we have, uh, we have our solution here. If this ratio, 4, is equal to this ratio, 4, and the included angle, the angle between them, is equal, then we can say that triangle... A, C, B is similar to triangle E, C, B because of side, angle, side. Alright, so that's the uh, similarity test using side, angle, side.